Good morning, everybody. Carl Iglesias here with uh, the Preferred Agent team over at Keller Williams Realty Partners. Hope everybody's having a great morning. Uh, I just want to um, talk to you about the top four reasons homes don't sell. And uh, uh, if you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, don't forget to do so. And also, if you need to contact us, our information is in the uh, description box below. And uh, again, we're going to get started with the top four reasons homes don't sell. And number one is uh, basically poor marketing. You know, uh, gone are the days, uh, you know, when an agent can just, uh, you know, stick the house on the MLS, plop their sign in their front yard, cross their fingers in hopes that, uh, that a buyer's agent brings them a buyer. Um, those, those days are done. Been done a long time ago, but still today, <clears throat> many agents do that. You know, today with the uh, with the internet the way it is, you know, the past 10, 15 years, you know, the internet has changed the game for real estate. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of buyers now, well, at least ninety percent of them, uh, you know, according to the Association of Realtors, more than ninety percent of uh, home buyers today find their homes on the internet. Okay, it's their first search before they uh, even contact an agent, and uh, so the agents that are uh, you know internet savvy like us know how to get those properties out there and into the you know into the eyes of the right people um that that's why our homes sell fast and for top dollar and why we've never had an expired listing ever <clears throat> shame on the agents that do that <clears throat> they're not doing the right thing by their clients but anyway poor marketing you know you can't just stick your sign in the ground stick it on the mls <clears throat> and hope that a, that a you know a buyer is going to stumble across it you got to get out in front of the right people. Okay. Number two is uh, bad photos. You know, a lot of agents, they don't want to spend the They don't want to spend the investment on hiring a, a professional photographer and they want to do it themselves. Um, and uh, which is, uh, again, you know, hey, more power to you if you can do it. I'm not a, I'm not a professional photographer. I hire only the best. That's why our photos are top notch out there, our videos are top notch out there because we leave it to the pros. This is what they do. I sell homes, that's my expertise. I'm a home selling specialist, that's what I do. Bad photos will kill, uh, kill a sale. Uh, people will go on the internet, see bad photos and not even want to take a look at the home. And the worst thing about it is, is that the agents let their clients do that based on photos, you know, you might be an agent who knows the house and knows it might be the right home for them, but instead of advising them, hey, let's go take a look anyway, you're gonna let the buyer call the shots based on the photos and you're gonna let them walk away from, from, from potentially the home of their dreams. Again, it's just a poor quality agent. And, uh, and, uh, and again, you know, bad photos, Get an agent that does the right thing, that hires professional photos. It's gonna, it's gonna make your listings stand out, and it's gonna attract more eyes. And again, it's first impressions. You know, first impressions are everything. You know, uh, once you once you grab their attention, uh, you're able to draw them into the home, and uh, and, and make a sale. Okay. So uh, the third third thing is just we just said it a little while ago. Yeah, you know, you had a lousy agent. <laughs> if your home didn't sell and and uh, you think it was, you know, uh, it was priced right and it didn't it didn't move, then you had a you had a, a lousy agent. They didn't do their job. Um, they didn't get the word out. Again, they did like like we said before with the marketing. They basically stuck it on the MLS. You know, waited for the MLS to syndicate it out, and they stuck their pretty little sign in the front yard. And they crossed their fingers and hoped, uh, uh, hoped somebody would bring them a buyer, <laughs> you know. And uh, that, that's basically what they did. You know, if your home's been on the market for six months or longer and it hasn't moved, you got an issue. There's a possibility you're dealing with a bad agent, and you could be losing tens of thousands of dollars. Um, if you haven't got any offers uh, within 21 days, it's pretty obvious you you missed your mark. Uh, the agent didn't do their job, whether they weren't up front with you with pricing or they just didn't market it to the right people. And, um, you know, again, most likely you got yourself a, a lousy agent. And uh, number four, you know, goes back to, uh, to, to the loud, you know, the agent being lousy is 
didn't have that hard conversation. They didn't price the home correctly, okay? Um, they missed the mark. Um, they basically, uh, you know, it happens a lot today. You know, agents will go out there and they'll tell the seller, hey, it's not the price, you know, I think it's it's the marketing, you know? Uh, and six months later, <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter, <laughs> you know, if they put sparklers around the house, it's still not gonna sell because they overpriced the home. And, um, you know, most uh, most homeowners think that, uh, you know, they can add a little bit more on, you know, as a buffer and then, and then settle on a price. Big mistake. Price it correctly from the start. What happens when you price it correctly from the start? You'll most likely generate a bidding war and get more than what you expected. When you pad the price, when you tack on the price, all you're doing is overshooting it. You're eliminating potential buyers. They don't want to, you know, they're market savvy. They know what prices are. They know what values are. Uh, they're not even going to look at the home based on the price alone. Doesn't matter if you have the best photos, the best agent, if you overpriced the home, you're going to get nada, zero, zippo. It's going to sit on the market. It's going to expire and you're going to be pissed off at your agent. And you should be because they didn't have that hard conversation with you to price it right. Okay. Um, you, you know, the worst thing again, you can do is, is pad the price and, and, and then hope to negotiate down. Why would you do that? That's that's a mistake. They don't even do that with auctions. They price them right. And where does the price go? Always up, always up, and quickly, quickly. So if you're looking for a, a fast sale and top dollar, because look, who likes making the bed every day and making sure that the house is uh, is is presentable 20, 24 hours a day for buyers to come in and out the door? That that gets old and it gets old quickly. So um, you know, pricing is huge. Price it right. If you hire the right agent, they're going to have those conversations with you. And you're gonna end up you're gonna get, you're gonna end up selling the home fast and for a top dollar. Look, if anybody needs my uh, my help, uh, you can contact me at any time. My uh, contact information is in the description box below. If you have any questions, shoot us a comment in the comment section below. We're here to help you. Again, Carl Glacius with the Preferred Agent Team over at Keller Williams Realty Partners. Hope everybody's doing well. And again, if you need us for anything, give us a buzz. We're here to help. Peace out. We'll talk to you all soon.